The 14 wineries that make up the Petoskey wine region lie in and around the greater Petoskey area, not far from Little Traverse Bay. They're part of a larger tip of the mitt American viticultural area, which encompasses 2,760 square miles throughout Alpena, Antrim, Charlevoix, Sheboygan, Emmett, and Presque Isle counties in the northern Lower Peninsula. Established in August 2016, the tip of the mitt is the latest of five federally recognized AVAs in Michigan. The others include Old Mission Peninsula, Leelanau Peninsula, Fenville, and Lake Michigan Shore. Hi, my name is Jeff Fry. Uh, my wife Gail and I uh, started and uh, built Crooked Vine Vineyard and Winery in Lansing, in Michigan, just a little north of Petoskey. Uh, we're part of the Bay, uh, excuse me, I was saying Bayview Wine Trail. That's how we started five years ago with just four or five of us as the Bayview Wine Trail. Now in our seventh year, uh, we're known as the Petoskey Wine Region. Mackinac Trail Winery that was up in the UP in Manistique was looking to move down to the Petoskey area, open up a uh, kind of a tasting room, uh, probably down the road, a, a winery. So I forget exactly how I met with uh, Ralph Stabile and Dustin, his son, who's the winemaker, but uh, that led me to talking to them, found out that also uh, Pond Hill was looking to plant varieties of these same grapes, the Marquette, the Frontenac, the Frontenac Gris, and then the Crescent. Those are the four predominant grapes that were introduced within the last 10 to 12 years that would handle temperatures to uh, 20 to 30 below zero. Yeah, so this is the 2017 estate grown Marquette. Out of all the years that we've done Marquette, um, this is one that I, I think it's, it's one of our better ones, uh, if not the best. So I think Marquette will probably be in the next five to 10 years the most planted grape in Michigan. Um, we're finding now that um, with the exception of just a few grapes, uh, we, Marquette is uh, becoming f the, the fastest planted varietal in the entire state. Marquette grapes are developed by the University of Minnesota and uh, they grow very well. They ripen here on the best years, on the bad years. Um, it's a very versatile grape, you know, and we, we've really experimented with it over the years. I've done a Marquette Ice Wine, Marquette Rosé, Marquette Nouveau, Sparkling Marquette, Sweet Marquette, Barrel Age Marquette. We've, I think we've done Marquette in you know, six or eight different styles. And it's just, we had to, but it, we had to find our calling for it. Being just an hour's drive from the gateway of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Mackinac City, and the ferries to Mackinac Island, the Petoskey wine region's climate is different from anywhere in the world. Lake effective conditions from Little Traverse Bay and the Straits of Mackinac often create colder and windier winter seasons, meaning varietals typically planted downstate can't withstand the harsh northern conditions. Some of the Petoskey wine region wineries, such as Pond Hill Farms, produce not just grapes and wine, but a fun family atmosphere with their own farmer's market that carries seasonal fruits and vegetables. Pond Hill Farms is open all year around and always have something new to offer. There are new farmers or hobbyists that start from humble beginnings laying down roots in the region, starting with just a few vines and growing to over a thousand. At Spare Key Winery, the men and women still work their day jobs and tend to the winery after they're done. In the fall, during the season's harvest, the wineries in this tip of the mitt region are their busiest. The grapes are picked either by hand or by machine. At Petoskey Farms, locals from the community help pick the grape varietals while enjoying exceptional views and fall colors.
in autumn, the Petoskey Wine Region brings people from all over the state and country for spectacular views of the region's vibrant trees, including maple trees. One winery in particular, named Maple Moon, produces maple syrup as part of their process to make a delicious, unique wine. Maple Moon ferments their maple syrup to make several varieties of maple wine and is the only winery of its kind. As the frigid temperatures of winter roll in, locals and visitors alike prepare for the bustling holiday season. But some local vineyards are still busy harvesting for one of the area's most popular dessert wines, ice wine. Ice wine is a true labor of love, made from healthy grapes that are still on the vine when the winter frost sets in. My name is Rob Shooks. I'm one of the owners of 1914. He forgot to tell you he's a winemaker too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Greg Shooks, one of the one of the owners of 1914 here as well. And I'm R.J. Shooks, and I'm the other owner. So 1914 started uh, basically as an idea where we planted five or sorry ten acres of wine grapes, and from there we wanted to adapt and get a product to where we could sell to the general public instead of just selling to the processor. And the winery is what we came up with. But 1914 rep also represents the year our great-grandfather started the farm. See, as my brother and my cousin and I are fourth generation on our family farm. And so we, not only do we uh, still farm actively 1,100 acres, but we also opened this a little over a year and a half ago to celebrate our heritage, celebrate our family, and, and make this more of a you know, a real happy place for family and friends to gather and share traditions and enjoy a glass of wine and cider. The ice wine came from our vignol uh, vineyard, I guess I could say, our vignol grapes. Uh, we harvested at 43 bricks, uh, left it a residual sugar of 22 bricks, has about 11% alcohol content, um, makes a fantastic dessert wine. Well, and the reason it's called ice wine is so you have to let, uh, it has to be below 18 degrees for three days. So that way all the sugar inside the grape is crystallized. That's what gives it that robust high, um, high fructose uh, syrup taste to it. Um, so with that, you do have to harvest in that temperature as well as press off in that temperature. So your yield goes significantly low, but your value goes significantly high as well. In addition to being known for great wines, the region also has unique tasting rooms and settings for enjoying a glass of wine with friends and family, or spending a relaxing day strolling the grounds. Family hospitality isn't just an expression in the tip of the mitt. Most wineries are owned, maintained, and worked by small multi-generational families. I'm Britta Dennis. And I'm Matt Kilman. And we are from Walloon Lake Winery. We are located on my family farm. We have 40 acres. We've been farming this land for over 65 years in one way or another. We became a vineyard seven years ago when we planted our first grapes, which were Marquettes. All of our wines are made right here on the property, um, bottled here everything's done here. Um, we have seven grapes planted on the property. We have um, Marquette, Frontenac Gris, Frontenac Blanc, Frontenac, La Crescent, uh, Sapravois, and Petite Pearl. And we are um, sourcing most of our grapes from our own property or properties in the area that we've been working with since uh, pretty much the inception of the winery. Um, so it gives us a lot of really nice variety.
Not all of the establishments in the Petoskey wine region produce wine alone, but also ciders made from locally sourced apples. The Petoskey wine region continues to expand from its humble beginnings to miles of thriving viticulture. With room to grow, many of the wineries bring new ideas and additions to their operations year after year, adding new entertainment spaces and architecture, creating a fun locale. Petoskey Wine Region works together to create one-of-a-kind tastes and deliver unique experiences, such as fields of homegrown varieties of fruits and vegetables, jams, butters, and candy. Apples grown in the region cater to hard cider production at Royal Farms and others throughout the area. At Rebecca Farms, Burnt Marshmallow Brewing, they utilize acres of farmland in the region to grow a variety of products. Not only does Rebecca Farms produce wine, they distill spirits such as bourbon and gin. They also make grappa, a fermentation of pomus, the remains of skins, pulps, seeds, and stems left over from their winemaking process. The wine trail has really added uh, a, a wonderful addition to the already natural beauty to the area. Um, we see a lot of people coming from all over the country now. They read about the wine region. They read about the grapes and the wines that we're producing in this region. When people think to come here, they're not thinking about just jumping on a bus and going partying. They want, they want them to think of us as like, wow, this place is amazing. You know, I want to spend I want to spend a vacation up here, and I want to be able to hit all the wineries. As you go around to the 14 wineries in the uh, Petoskey Wine Region, you're going to see medals on uh, the wall. You're going to see medals and awards on bottles, and uh, those medals are for uh, old wine quality from New York to California. So uh, our wines have won first place and uh, second and third place in the number of competitions and so have most of the others. Mm -hmm. 